Hello lifestylers, it's LaShawn. If you've just found my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for supporting me here on LaShawn's Lifestyle. I truly do appreciate it so, so, so much. You all have no idea. So today's video is how I will be allocating my paycheck number one for the month of July. Now I get paid on June 30, but it covers my bills from July 1st up until my next paycheck, which would be on the 15th. So this is covering my bills from the 1st to the 14th. So if you're interested in how I will be allocating my coins, then please keep watching. All right, so I decided to give my um, pay, my paycheck number one page a little pop of color. I'm loving the black and gray and white um, matted theme that um, Uniquely Sean has going on with the budget kits. Love, love, love. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna let this pop with some red because I like it. All right, so let's go ahead and get into what this paycheck is going to look like. Um, so first, let me just do my header super quickly so it's my income um when i'm well expected and um actual and then plus or minus okay and i didn't even put the date the due date but i just said it the 30th <laughs> all right so uh, my main income, oops, team white out. Oh my gosh, what is going on? All right, miscellaneous, no, main. <laughs> my main income, I mean, my income is from my main job and that is $3,039.17. And I leave a space for miscellaneous because I always, you know, I, I like to manifest things. So money is number one on my manifestation list. Um, but I'm only going to be budgeting based off of what I know I have, I, I'm, I'm getting. Or So it's the $3,039.76. And I'll bring y'all in some so you can see. All right. Uh, my battery lights blinking it better stay it better last all right so then i have um bills bills expenses <sighs> um when it's due how much i'm budgeting it for or budgeting for and actual and then the variance all right so, I'm gonna draw a little line of demarcation here. All right. Okie dokie. First and foremost is my household transfer. And my household transfer, um, I put into a different account and it pays the household bills such as mortgage and grocery and lights and all that good stuff so that i'm going to do on the first and i'm putting half and that's 1270 50 that i'll be moving over next is the gym and i'll just put an asterisk when it is an auto debit the gym co amount comes off of a credit card that i paid off so that's due on the first and that's 23 dollars and 42 cents then I have um, life insurance, number one, and that is due on the second, and it's $51. Then I have life insurance number two, and if you hear my air handler come on, sorry. Um, then that's due on the second as well. These are two different companies. This one's for my mom and this one's mine with multiple premiums. So that's why they're, I have them separated. And that's 103.89. Then I have um, Carnote 
I'm super speeding through this because my battery light is blinking. That's due on the second as well, and that's seven ten fifty three. Um, tolls due on the third, and that is seventy dollars that I apply to it. Then I have um, American Express. That's due on the fourth, and that is in the amount. The minimum amount this month is one thirty five. And I I had said I was gonna put like keep it at 160 but since I'm trying to throw extra debt extra money at debt to pay off my synchrony I put it to what the minimum was because that extra 30 40 bucks help can help me pay off synchrony um, then we have synchrony and synchrony is my rooms to go card and it's due on the 10th um, I'm gonna put the minimum first and then of course, I'll apply the additional debt payment after after fact after the fact. So our total is, or my total is, not y'all total. Um, totals are two thousand four hundred twenty dollars and thirty four cents. Okay, so now let's move to our my variables, and my variables are. Um, cash envelopes and I will be coming back with the cash envelope stuffing so you guys can see what my categories are and how much I'm putting towards them but for this paycheck I'm going to take out $200 to stuff my envelopes then um, sinking funds my sinking funds are electronic so I just transfer the money over into that account it is a capital one 360 account and I get a debit card with it. So anything I, anytime I need my sinking funds, I use that. It's not a part of my regular checking account or my household checking account. It's strictly sinking funds. But I like that method. I don't like, I prefer not to have the cash method because my sinking funds, um, I have quite a bit of money. So I don't want that kind of cash on me or around me. So I'm going to transfer $150 towards my sinking funds and I'll be back with my closeout and my setup for July so you can see what those categories are and how much I'm putting to them. And then I have my debt snowball and this is the money that I'm going to be applying to my synchrony account to pay it off this month. And for this paycheck, I'm doing $221.50. So I'm doing half right now with this paycheck and then I'll do the other half with paycheck number two. So we're going to go ahead and total these up and I did that off camera to save some time and um, it is $571.50. So together these total, um, so together they total, oops. Uh, two thousand nine ninety one eighty four. So I have a remaining amount of forty seven dollars and ninety two cents. And basically, I just add these two together to get the two ninety two thousand nine ninety one eighty four, and then I deducted that from my income of three thousand thirty nine dollars and seventy six cents. So with this remaining amount, I'm going to leave this because I'm not sure, I wanna make sure that I, I'm paying off synchrony this month one way or the other. So I'm gonna leave this as a rollover or it, it may have to be applied into the debt to pay off synchrony. So I'm just gonna leave that. I'm not gonna move that over into my miscellaneous fund account. So I'm just gonna put potential debt payment so by doing that I've allocated it for something so that puts me at a zero um, base budget for the month of I mean for this paycheck so um, yeah so that is what my coins will be allocated for for paycheck number one so yeah, so that is it. If you've lasted this long in, in the video, I truly do appreciate it. And please don't forget 
to subscribe to my channel. Um, I hope I'm adding a little bit of value, giving you some how-tos to do your budget, you know, your sinking funds, your, you know, paying off debt. I, I hope it's giving you some ideas of how to do it. You know, we, we all don't do everything exactly the same, but, you know, I hope it's inspiring you to um, get your finances right and you know, put your coins in the right places. <laughs> All right, so if you've lasted this long in this video, you already know you are a lifestyler and I truly do appreciate you. And until the next video, hugs and love. Bye.